Creating landscapes is a really difficult task, especially because the modeling process is very tedious to create a realistic looking mountain because things in Earth on Earth usually are not too uniform and it's difficult to create a dynamic mountain with multiple different ranges. Welcome back to Touch by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we're going to be creating a landscape, a mountain from the Ant landscape, the A-N-T landscape add-on plugin feature in Blender uh, 279. Before we start, make sure you actually have this add-on enabled so that you can use it in Blender. So, um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete my default cube, camera, and lamp. As always, I'm going to hit one on my numpad to go on the front-facing view. Hit Shift A or go up here to Create. We can scroll down and hit Landscape here and hit Add Landscape. If you're uh, hitting Shift A, you go Shift A and then we're going to go Mesh and then Landscape right there. So, as you can tell, as soon as I uh, open this, we have this uh, this really tiny miniature version of a landscape, I suppose. And over on the side here on the left, we have uh, a bunch of different uh, new tools that have just been unlocked. This has changed a lot um, since its uh, first uh, first release. So, pretty much what we have here, what you're going to want to mess with the most is this uh, this first block up here, the noise settings. The noise type, we can change from hetero terrain to rigid, um, which looks really cool. Um, to fractal, to another noise, to any one of these really you can pick, um, and they'll give you a realistic uh, tutorial. A realistic tutorial, a realistic result. Um, but for this tutorial, is what I was gonna say. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with uh, where was the uh, where was the one at? B -b 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 rigid was it yes it was rigid i'm gonna go with rigid for this tutorial because i love the way that looks it looks really cool um and the way we can change the way this looks really quickly simply is change the seed so we can just change the seed around get a different uh look for the one we want i think three looks pretty cool let's go with three yeah i like the way three looks uh excuse my my jerky camera motion my uh, middle mouse button is acting up in blender lately but uh anyway so what we can do here is over on the uh, size of over here this is what we're going to mainly play around with this uh offset and, uh, and whatnot. You can you can mess around with a lot of these to get the desired effect. I'm not going to do too much to it in this tutorial, um, but uh, we can change the depth, of course. The depth is, oop, it's going to lag a bit, but it's how sharp and how uh, tall all of your mountain peaks will be. Of course, uh, dimension, of course, is the, the, the height. The depth is the sharpness, the clarity, rather. Change that uh, dimension down, something like that. And uh, that's pretty much what we're going to mess with uh, for that over there. Of course, if you're doing water plane, water is, of course, if you want uh, uh, some some sort of uh, water around your mountain, it will automatically add that in, but we're not, not going to be using that today, so I'm going to undo that. Um, and first things first, if you want to scale this up, I, I don't recommend hitting S and then scaling like that. I recommend changing the mesh size over here. This is how we're going to scale this up. Um, right now, what we're going to do is we're going to scale it up like that, and we'll go, we'll turn up the uh, subdivisions on the X and Y, and something like that. Looks pretty good. All right, so now, once we have all that set, I want this to be a bit higher, actually. Let me make it a bit higher. Display settings, height, we can change the height. There we go. A bit, oop, 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 oop. The edge level and the minimum and max the minimum maximum over here is what we're going to want to play around with to get this to go taller. So I'm gonna put that up to like something high, like 16 or whatever. And change that down. Looks too sharp now. Looks like uh Ooh. Ooh. Got a bit of lag here. We're gonna go with uh just let's just type in two. What's two look like? Two looks pretty good, I suppose. Yeah, two looks good. I've changed the dimension a little bit, so I'm gonna go two point five, see what it looks like. Two point Five looks uh well let me do two five two point five okay two is the highest it goes I suppose all right so two looks pretty good we will uh, mess around with that now what we're gonna do here is we're going to scale this bad boy up and we will lose all of our settings when we do that so make sure you have your landscape exactly the way you want it before you do that so we're going to scale that up like that and now we can get a better look at it first thing we're gonna do is gonna go over to this uh, side panel and add in a modifier add modifier of subdivision surface. So uh, that's going to round out all those uh, rougher edges, and we're going to also go over here to Tools and hit Shading to Smooth. All right, so now we have a better look at our mountain right there. We have a pretty good start. 
Um, I'm not going to be going over the materials in this specific tutorial, but what I will be doing is we'll be setting up our mountain and uh, I might do a materials in the future. So I'm going to add in a sun with shift A right there, shift A uh, sun lamp. And I'm going to change to cycles render. What we're going to do here is we're going to rotate this uh, up a little bit, just a basic uh, lighting setup, just so you guys can get a, uh, a notion of what this uh, bad boy will actually look like. I'm going to add in my camera, hit one of on my numpad, camera, scroll this back, and we'll go into the camera's view on, with zero on my numpad. And we'll RX, rotate it a bit, did a bit more rotation, move it to about right there, I suppose. A bit more rotation. And for the sky, I will just go over here to the world tab, hit use nodes, change this uh, little box right here to sky texture, and I'll go to rendered viewport chaining. So I can take a look at what's going on here. And I will drag this uh, this little circle up to the top right about there. Not, not that far. About right there. We'll change the strength to like uh, three or so. Maybe two. Two looks good. Yeah, two looks good. All right. So that is pretty much that for our uh, mountainous uh, tutorial. You can make a lot of different variations of this. Really quickly, I'll just do that. So really quickly, I've just uh, made up a bunch of different uh, landscape uh, elements you can do. A bunch of different random variations of the same exact uh, mountainside we just did. I didn't add any subdivision surfaces to them, but you can get the basic idea. Just a really quick thing. I really like the way this one looks. This one was uh, planet noise. This one over here. I like, the way the, I, wait, I like the way that one looks. Um, these can be used for so many different things. Uh, but I hope you guys learned something new today. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, bye.